a chennai ho has a branch at salem to which goods are invoiced at cost plus 20 percentage from the following particulars prepare branch account in the head office books you have goods sent to branch which is at cost plus 20 percent total sales so much cash sales cash received from debtors then opening debtors opening stock then you have closing stock it means you don't have closing debtors it means closing debtors have to be derived number one number two you have total sales you have cash sales so the difference between these two is going to be credit sales so we have to derive what is credit sales because only if you derive credit sales you will be able to derive what is closing debtor okay so what we'll do we'll open the respective accounts what are the accounts we have to open now the accounts to be opened are branch account then let us also open branch cash account because we are getting cash from debtors we are getting cash from sales okay then we'll also open branch debtors account basically to find out what is the closing balance of uh, debtors okay so three accounts got to be open we'll do that working note one which branch is that it is salem branch so salem branch account then we'll also have branch cash and branch debtors account branch cash is a small account then we'll also have branch debtors account now let's go back we have goods sent to branch 2,11,872 total sales but let's uh, start with uh, the opening stock we have opening stock 7680 that is uh, branch opening stock then we also have debtors branch opening debtors so we will capture that first two balance brought down two balance brought down and we have two items one is stock the other one is debtors what is the value of stock the value of uh, stock is 7680 so we'll write it is 7680 and value of uh, debtors is 24000 so value of debtors is 24000 so both put together it is 31680 now here this debtors should also appear in branch debtors account as opening balance so here we'll write to balance brought down it is 24000 now the question says all these items are sent at cost plus 20 percentage they are sent at cost plus 20 percentage okay and it means the opening stock closing stock goods sent to branch will all have this 20 percentage so we have to remove the profit that is sitting in this 20 percentage it means this stock of 7680 has 20 percentage of profit we have to remove that profit and for that entry is by stock reserve entry is by stock reserve so within bracket i'll show the calculation it is 7680 is for 120 because cost plus 20 percentage okay so 100 plus 20 so 7680 divided by 120 multiplied by 20 and it is going to give you the value as 1280 so in this way we have removed the profit that is loaded in the opening stock fine let's go back so we have now considered the opening stock we have considered opening debtors okay then now let's go on to what is the goods that has been sent to branch 
to goods sent to branches 2,11,872. So let's write that. To goods sent to branch. To goods sent to branch. What is the value? It is 2,11,872. Now we have to unload the profit that is loaded in this goods sent to branch. So let's do that. Buy goods sent to branch. Buy goods sent to branch. So how do you find out the profit? It is basically the 20, right? It is basically the 20%. So let me put it here. It is 2,11,872 divided by 120 multiplied by 20 and it gives you value as 35,312 it is 35,312 so in that way we have the details of profit that is loaded on goods into branch okay so that element is taken care now we have total sales and cash sales okay so the difference between the total sales and cash sales will give us what is credit sales and that information is critical for us because we can load that in the data's account right we have branch data's account where we'll load that so what is our total sales total sales is 2,6400 okay so we have total sales total sales 2,6400 minus cash sales minus cash sales which is 1,10,400 so what is the difference the difference works out to 96,000 so this 96,000 is nothing but credit sales okay so we'll go to data's account in the data's account we'll capture there is a credit sale and what is the value value is 96,000 so we'll say two sales it is 96,000. So again, let's go back to the question. So you also have cash sales now. You also have cash sales. How much is it? It is 1,10,400. So let's take this to our cash account. Okay. So in branch cash, we'll say two sales. Two sales. Basically, it is cash sales. And what is the amount? It is 1,10,000. 400 it is 1 lakh 10400 okay then let's go back so we have factored the cash sales then you have cash that is received from debtors how much is that it is 88000 so let's capture that in both the accounts that is you are getting more cash from your debtors okay so your cash balance is going to increase so we'll say two branch debtors and what was the amount it was 88,000 so what is the entry here branch cash account debit to branch debtors it means here in branch debtors account we have to write by branch cash account and what is the value it is 88,000 so in this way we have the opening balance of debtors then credit sales then what is the cash received from the debtors? So let me total this. If I total, it works out to 1,20,000 because that is the highest side total. So let me write it on both sides. 1,20,000. It means now I have a balancing figure. Okay. And that is nothing but the closing balance of debtors. So by balance carried on 1,20,000 minus 88,000, you have it as 32,000. So this is the closing balance of debtors, right? And here if you notice branch cash, let's total this. The total works out to 1,98,400. And this have to be transmitted to head office. So we'll say buy cash transmitted to HO. Buy cash transmitted to HO. And it works out to 1,98,400. Okay. 
so now let's go back to branch account let's go back to branch account we'll capture that information because we have some 1 lakh 98400 coming from branch to ho so let me write that here by bank whatever the money that is getting transmitted from branch to ho and it is 1 lakh 98400 okay and let us also capture the closing balance do we have closing balance of stock in the question yes we have closing balance of stock on 31st december 2015 it is 13440 so let's write that here by balance carried on in which the first item is stock and what is the value the value is 13440 okay so we'll write 13440 then do we have any other item yes we have debtors we have calculated now debtors what is the value of debtors it is 32000 we'll write debtors is 32000 so total put together we have uh, say 45000 440 now don't forget one item that is you have stock right you have stock it means this has some element of profit so this has to be removed how by by debiting the branch account and crediting stock reserve okay so we'll say two stock reserve two stock reserve and what is the profit that is loaded on the stock that is 13,440 divided by 120 multiplied by 20. So this is the profit element loaded on the closing stock and it works out to 2,240. It works out to 2,240. So now let's total the higher side. If we do the totaling at higher side, it works out to 2,80,000. 432 so let me write it on both sides it works out to 2,80,432 so we have some difference on the debit side and that is nothing but the profit okay so that has to be transferred to general p and l so we'll say to general p and l account the balance is 34640 okay so this is the profit of this branch